In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a closed caption icon to your Adobe Captivate project. So I guess I'm at that point where, you know, I'm telling my clients, hey, you know, let me just send you the video for that particular tutorial. And I go to look for it and uh, either I can't find it or maybe I didn't record it in the first place. So today I'm going to do such a video that I thought I already had. And this is going to be adding a custom closed caption icon to your Adobe Captivate eLearning course. So as you can see, I've got a eLearning course on my screen right now that I'm working on. And one of the problems with Adobe Captivate is that if you want to add closed captioning, you need to show the play bar controls. And I'm not a big fan of the play bar controls. I generally don't use them. So instead, what we're going to do today is add that custom solution there. So the easiest way to get these into my project is just to move Captivate out of the way. I've downloaded some icons that I'm going to use for the closed caption on and off. So this will be a toggle. And I'll just drag these over into our scrap area here. And of course, I can now delete these items. I don't need them anymore. Now, what are we going to do? Because these icons are white, I'm going to place them on top of a blue circle or blue rounded rectangle um, similar to this begin button here. Then we'll just be in the bottom left hand corner here. So we'll just choose that and I will select my begin button, copy appearance, and we will paste appearance on there. So it looks the same. And we'll just make sure that it's uh, the same size actually needs to be a little bit bigger there. So I'm going to position this so that it's in line with my begin button. Just open up the alignment toolbar to make that easy. And we'll just align it with maybe the object just above it there. Okay, so the default state will be closed caption will be off filled in will be on. So I'm going to start with the icon as you see it here. And I'm just going to center it over top of that object. I'm just going to need to move this down a layer there. And uh, we're going to call this uh, closed caption icon. And uh, we're going to make sure that it's used as a button. So that's set up. We're going to need to go into state view to set up the other state. So if I go into state view here, there is the rollover and the down state. I don't actually want those in my project. So I'm going to delete those one by one just by right clicking on them there. And I'm going to click on new state. And instead of choosing an inbuilt state, I'm going to create a custom state. And we're going to call this closed caption on. Click OK. And it's still the same appearance, but if I click on the, the uh, button over here that represents that particular image, I can select its alternative image where it's filled in like that. So that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and exit the state. And we will uh, do a couple of things. Go to the timing panel and uh, set it up to be visible for the rest of the project. I'm also going to make sure to place the object on top and we're going to uncheck pause because we don't need a pause there. Below it, of course, is that uh, shape. We need to make sure that that background shape is rest of project as well. Place object on top. So now we have a closed caption icon that will appear in the bottom left hand corner, regardless of what slide we're on. And we don't need the uh, the play bar controls that you get from the skin editor. So we can just have this control here. Now it's not set up to do anything. So we're going to need to do that, of course. So let's click on, of course, that icon itself and uh, go back to our properties inspector. And we're going to go to actions here. Now I don't have any advanced actions in this project yet, which is why that shows up. But it's very simple to write such an advanced action. So we'll click on this folder icon and we'll call this closed caption button. 
Now this is going to be a conditional tab because we're going to look at a system variable that's built into Adobe Captivate. And depending on its condition, we're going to have the button change its appearance, but also turn on the closed caption feature as well. So, and that system variable is a unique system variable in Adobe Captivate. It's called CP command CC. Now the system variables that have CMND or command, if you will, you can actually change their value and have them perform a function. So we're going to be using this throughout this advanced action as well as an action by itself. So if CP command is equal to zero, that means the closed captions are off. We're going to assign CP command CC with the literal value of one. Now, if CP command CC is already equal to one in the else section, we're going to return it back to zero. So we're creating a true toggle, if you will. So we're going to assign CP command CC with the literal value of zero. So we're returning it back to its original value. Now, while we're here, we can also change the appearance of our closed caption button to align with the appearance of the actual closed captions themselves. So we're going to change the state of our closed caption icon to on. And I can just copy this line here and paste it down here. And we will change the closed caption back to normal if we're turning it off. And that's all you really need to do. We can save this as an action, click OK and close. And now, of course, that button has been set up with, of course, our closed caption advanced action. I don't know why I put an E on the end of it, but that's OK. I'm also going to select the hand cursor and disable the click sound. I do that for all my buttons. And I think we're ready to preview this project and see how this works. So let's preview HTML5 in browser. So here's my project. Welcome to customer service. Where we ask Closed captions are off. Let's turn them on. Press begin to get started. So we have our closed captions up top. Josie and Dave have been preparing for a presentation. So we have our closed captions again above there. I can turn it off at any time if I find it annoying or turn it back on if I wish to follow along with the closed captions. And I can do it as many times as I wish here. The next day, Josie and Dave give their presentation, but management felt the presentation was missing critical information. There you go. Josie realizes so there's how you can add a closed caption icon on your first slide of your course, have it appear throughout the rest of the project and write a very simple advanced action to give you access to it whenever you tap on that, either with your mouse or your finger if you're using a tablet. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.